sika di oni pa bedru e chire. Sika mansu wa ye chui e nchadei. Ama re wo wakame. Yes. You won't believe some sika so on my way. Tina me speedy me fa bibi atun chain. Sika dam, sika dam, tide bi aname nam. Branti e pa chichinga aname nam. Sika dam, sika dam, tide bi aname nam. Dia min tu min peja kra obe shaya na matam. E piano pa ye kwa ye ba ye nyaka kra yenda. The dream is bigger that to make it sweet merenda. Ladies and gentlemen, as I'm singing and talking about money, you know this conversation is all about money. Money is the root of all evil. Today, I'm going to tell you why. There's a story that was posted or shared by TV3. There's a show called Confessions, The Confessions, on TV3. And a lady has shared a story that she followed money to darkness in Nigeria. The darkness light out Nigeria. She has followed darkness and she followed money. She followed money. And then money has brought darkness upon her life. It's a very um, sensitive story. But we'll sit here. I'll, I'll report the story. Tell you what people are saying on social media. You also tell me what you think. What I also feel about it. My name is Ace Kanti. This episode is brought to you by Lemfa. Yes, if you are in the US, UK, Canada, send money to Ghana and other nine recipient countries. Use the promo code DINGO and enjoy amazing discount. Now, let's go into the story. Um, the summary of the story here is a lady has given up on her sleep from 10 p.m. 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. because of money, because of money that she decided to chase. So she doesn't sleep from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. for the rest of her life, as we speak, from now to the rest of her life. The rule is that she's not supposed to sleep from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. to be able to earn the money that she's getting. The details of the story is a lady who works in a club. Let's watch the video. Thank you very much, Miss Nancy. Okay. You have my attention, my ear, my sympathy, empathy, whatever you will need. And I'm listening to you without judgment. Thank you very much for having me. I'm in great fear and I'm experiencing some level of trauma. My confession is one that is a manifestation of the adage, the proverb, sorry, that all that glitters is not good. I'm a 24 year old lady. And I was working in the nightclub to get some money to make ends meet. Right here in Accra. Right here in Accra. Okay. And there was a man that kept visiting our club quite constantly. And every time he came around, he would spend huge sums of money. Now, considering he became a regular customer, he became a close friend as well. There was a day that I couldn't keep my curiosity to myself any longer and I really needed help. <clears throat> so I mustered up courage and out of curiosity, I asked him to help me out to make money. And he told me that that was going to be an easy task. He just needed me to have conversations with certain people and at the end of the day, he would give me money. Have conversation with certain people and at the end of the day, He's going to give her money. It's going to be an easy task. Just have conversations with people. And if you know where this story is heading, there has been a series of stories like this. I even know someone who graduated the university with me and then said, job firm in Accra here. The job is that you come in, you're going to talk to people and then they are going to pay you at the end of the month. It's a firm in Ghana here. T. So I felt that was very easy, like he said. Of course. And for the first gig he gave me, we earned 80,000 Ghana cities and he gave me 10,000. Whoa. I was so well, struggling girl in Accra. That's I was a miracle. So excited. I mean, it didn't take so long to have that conversation. And just within a few minutes, I was able to end that much. Yeah. I was really, really, really excited. So, with time, there was constant gigs being given to me. Whoa. The first gig. They earned 80,000 Ghana cities and then they give her 10,000. Which job can you do once? No one in land Trasica. 80,000 Ghana cities and then your cat is 10,000 as a nightclub worker who needed help. Show us the way. For now, you show me the way. And then, so I quit my job in the club. Okay. Hey. And I told him that I wanted in. I wanted to do this full time. Okay. I had given up 
or anything that had to do with the nightclub and because I felt that I was earning enough money now the conversations I was having with the people yeah. and he told me that that was fine he's ready to coach me and give me I mean teach me anything I need to know okay. when it comes to this job then he told me that well there's one more thing we need to do in addition to these conversations I had okay now I mean I was still desperate and you know I had tasted what it felt like to be comfortable yeah. so I really did not care. You really wanted to do what? How far I had to go. Okay. So he took me, we traveled to <clears> Nigeria <throat> and we met a spiritual guide. Okay. He calls him Baba, so that's what I call him too. Okay. And I was initiated, I was taught everything I needed to know. And I was in the game. I could call myself a boss now. Mm. I was earning, I could spend, I was comfortable, I was happy. Okay. I mean, I felt like I had made it in life. Okay. And one of the things I was told by Baba was that every time I end, I was supposed to split the money end into three. Okay. One for charity. Okay. One for myself. Okay. And then one for Baba. That's great. That's not and bad. And I felt deal. like that was okay. I mean, yeah. there was no loss, so that was okay. So my first gig. When I went solo, I earned <coughs> hundred thousand cities. Yeah, that's it is. Uh. Business C. Hundred thousand Ghana cities, your first gig. For a girl like me having to it hold must have that been amount of a money miracle out of the world. It was, it was, it was a wow for me. Okay. Everything was going well. So I just had to do my end of the bargain. So one of the days I visited Baba to give him his share of my earnings, he told me that there was one more thing I needed to do. Mm -hmm. He calls it a sacrifice. Okay. And I was to stay awake from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Every, Stay awake. Yes. For the rest of my life. Awake mineral water. <laughs> Stay awake. Like you don't sleep. I don't sleep. You don't slumber. I don't slumber. I cannot snore. I cannot close my eyes. I can nothing of that sort. <laughs> and here I am <laughs> loving to rest. I love to sleep. And this is something that fine, in the beginning I thought I could do it. So I started. But Miss Nancy, um it's 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 really a lot. I can't sit down and be like, I'm okay with it because I'm But you can sleep during the day? I can sleep during the day. After 6, um, that is okay. Okay. But from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., I need to Whilst be awake. Whilst people are sleeping. And Ms. Nancy, that is when I'm also tired because I do most of my work during the day. So <gasps> when I got back to Ghana, I was talking to my friend that introduced me to all this. He was telling me that mine is really nothing because e. the dog in his house... It's his life. So say. The moment the dog dies, he dies. <laughs> Miss Nancy, this is where the fear comes in because I was a girl comfortable with the money I was enjoying and all that. But until, you wanted more. I mean, I, I made me get the better you part of You wanted to me. do solo. Miss Nancy, I'm really scared. I don't want to lose my life because I really don't know the consequence if I should ever not adhere to this sacrifice <laughs> hey, 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 hey. ladies and gentlemen yen sempa um it, in english they say we have um pa, uh, we have listened to it strange things are happening for the love of money many will perish this is an example but we are going to take it one after the other you see where this lady Someone hops in your club, the person gives you money. Or the person just comes and blew money. You move to the person that you need help. You work on a gig, you get 10000 Now you continue, continue, and feel like, nah, you want to be the boss. You want to be like him. They introduce you. They have started getting the money. Now they add a condition. Say, sleep. Daytime, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. You have to be awake. And now you are reporting and then you are crying. 
First of all, I don't know how the lady is going to deal with this. I don't know how best she go feed do one, but you should know. As she now, she said, not all glitters is good. So right now, what does she want? The adv- I want to know the advice she wants. Is it that she doesn't want to get the money again and she wants everything to end or she still wants to be enjoying the money, but she doesn't want the consequences. And when this video was posted on TV3, it was posted on Twitter to be specific, we had people saying, say, this is very easy, but as a lady, and if you are trying to do this, and then for the guy, his dog, if the dog dies, he's dead. And for you, you are not supposed to even snore, sleep, nor slumber. If the lady does, she's gone. If you know, well, nap within 6 10 p.m to 6 a.m the lady is gone and that's the time that everyone is supposed to be sleeping but you see i have a problem with the lady one before you ask the guy that you want to be like him you should have asked him the negative and then the positive impact i'm not sure she did ask because if she really insisted the guy would have told her and even if the guy didn't tell herself you should know that there is no way they'll tell you that I'll make you get money. When you get money, give a percentage to the orphanage, take percentage and bring the baba the other percentage. What are you going to do to get the money? The lady didn't state that. I want to know what you'll be doing to get the money. When she became the boss, what was she doing to get the money? Her first solo deal was 100,000 Ghana cities. And you're online crying. Ohima, I don't think I have any advice for you and right now, I don't know. It's now a spiritual, a spiritual issue. Me, me, him, the ever, yeah, spiritual issue like this. See a pastor or whoever you want to. But when this video was posted on Twitter, people shared their concerns. This is not the first time something like this has happening. Happened. We have seen a story where a lady said she had an affair with a, a minister, and then they made the, she vomiting a snake, and a, a whole lot. You should know what the, where this is going. For someone who works in the club, the Ankuiniati. I've seen people say her voice is nice. Please, voice in your tweaky voice. No? That's not her real voice. If that's her real voice, you would know the lady. Say, oh, I have a friend who works in the club. It could be this person or who blows. So the voice has been tweaked. That's not the lady's real voice. But let's wait, wait. I don't want to talk much because if I talk much, maybe yes, spiritual man. I can't recommend any pastor for you. Listen to what Ghanaians were saying when this video was posted. This person says. <laughs> But, but wait, before I start reading, Seth, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., she has to be productive during that hours. What do you think she can do between 10 p.m. to 6 a.m.? This is what Ghanaian said. Someone says, I do more than this for no money. That's true. We have people, there are, there are instances where I don't even sleep the whole night. I'm online looking for stories. Then I come here. I do it. I don't even get anything. This person says, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., so what does she do during that time? The whole of yesterday night, I couldn't sleep till 8 a.m. Make she show me the way. <laughs> this person said, then show you the way and you are still complaining. Or chinansu tomorrow. And I show me the way, show me the way, show me the way. They show you the way and then you are still complaining. We have people who also want to be shown the way. They show you the way you are running. This person says, Sika the Nipa Bedrichri. This person says she should go to nursing training or medical school to be a nurse or a doctor and lobby for night shift only. I think this one makes sense. But you see, she's not supposed to sleep within that time for the rest of her life. First advice that I can give, she should start working at the coffee shop. On no coffee. No, we are on more hospital. This person says, to me, I think this lady got greedy because 10,000... Even if it was a month and pool, she should have been content with it. But she wanted more. Not all that glittered is good and pa. She really wanted more because the amount 10,000 for one time. Not that work for 30 days and end this. And you want more. Wow, well, awesome. This person says, as a day here now, it be baba in number at the search. This person in the comment section doesn't care about the lady or whatever she's going through. It be baba in number he the search. Because I don't know he they do that for free. Another person here says, Wait, keke. Peter, they do night shift straight. Allow one scry when you be a. It be a head with a sweet arm. <laughs> if you want one of the most useless advice on social media, just on social media, go to Twitter. People really talk a lot of trash on Twitter. This person says, 
One, I can help you with three things you can do within that hour. It's one, sleep properly throughout the day. One, two, drink a lot of coffee. Three, club at night. So the club that you used to work, now you go there and then be clubbing. You see, the guy that used to come to the club and spray money every single time, he is coming there during the night. I'm sure not on the night, and I also on the better. But how come human being, your life depends on a dog? And I can guarantee you, say, the balam or the baba can kill the dog and then you also die. In the comments, someone shared an experience. That's why chairman who can sit in the clubhouse till the next day, then you go home. Hmm, never trust nobody. Be comfortable in your zone. This person says, a guy, this is an experience. A guy shared a similar story on the Manor TV where all his friends died in their sleep when they mistakenly slept. But thank God he was prayed for and delivered. It's only God who can save her. Once she sleeps, that's the end of her. If you attempt to sleep, you are gone. So it means that the lady has to be active for the whole time. And the best advice is that you should travel outside the country. If you go to some countries where the season changes, even when it's 10 p.m., it's like daytime, then she can be working during that time. But if it's in Ghana here, and I know for sure that when you sign up for something like this, you will surely be tempted to sleep. I know some of you in the comments will think this is very easy to do, but bro, let me tell you, for the rest of your life, don't sleep for the rest of your life. It's the most difficult thing ever. Within sleeping hours, if it is daytime, fine. Everyone wakes up at daytime. Even the body is naturally programmed to be active during the day. That's why when some midnight, when you want to even work, your body doesn't allow you. It is programmed to be active during the day. And this is what you signed up for. Ohima, I don't have any support for you. Please, if you can help her, be in the comments. But tell me what you think in the comment section. My name is Ace Kante. This episode, as I said, is brought to you by Lemfire. Send money and enjoy amazing discounts when you use the promo code BINGO. See you on the flip side of things. Be aware, not all glitters is good. Don't follow money because money is the root of all evil, not the name Ruth or the Bible chapter Ruth. Money is the root of all evil. We out.